Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers, welcome to my 3D Corner. As you probably know already, in the last week Corona released their version 10. Yeah, you heard that well, they just released their last version and they created this beautiful uh, video that you can see here. And yeah, in today's episode we're going to discuss all the new release features of the Corona 10. So if you guys are ready, let's just jump in. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the Corona Clouds. As you can see here, I have some uh, a setup with some Corona Clouds and a sun that is here. So the big release that they had about the Corona Clouds is the fact that from now on you can have a Corona tint applied directly to the sun here to the direct input you can also have a kelvin temperature if you want so you can go up with this and it's becoming more blue and you can go lower and it's becoming more red this is quite nice so you can create all kind of stuff with this yeah it's a big improvement from the last version of the clouds that they had in corona 9 but there is only one small downside of the whole thing that they still didn't fix it in the moment that you're moving the sun on the horizon he doesn't illuminate the bottom of the clouds. So to explain that, I will just open one of these images here on Google. So as you can see here in this image, the sun is close to or under the horizon. So he's illuminating the bottom of the clouds, so under the clouds. So yeah, this is something that they still didn't fix. Uh, I asked them about this and uh, maybe in the next version of Corona, 11 maybe we're gonna have something like that in my opinion these clouds they are still not looking amazing they look sometimes they look good but most of the time they look a little bit fake so yeah probably it's better to still keep your uh, hdris options so yeah okay then this is everything about this clouds but well, let's move forward let's move forward okay so i just created this uh, simple scene as you can see here and um, so one uh, big improvement on Corona is the fact that they improved the caustics. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to start my caustics from here to actually make them work. You need also need to go in the F10 and here in the performance, you just need to enable caustics. So as you can see, now it's enabled and uh, yeah, I'm just going to render a quick uh, render. So according to them, now the caustics are much brighter, so you can see them better. So from outside, as you can see, they uh, work quite well and they are looking very nice. Yeah, probably they are much brighter than before. So this is one big improvement. The second improvement is the fact that now the Corona camera has a size here in the environment clipping. Here it can, you can just click and you can create a size for the camera. And uh, with this on, you can actually go through clouds or you can have a cutout. The camera has a size and you can actually see half out, half underwater as you can see in this image okay so uh, in the corona scan material right now you can just drag and drop your scans directly into the load material as you can see it just got loaded this is really nice you can let's apply this here let's give it a dimension let's say 0.5.6 meters as you can see we have it here let me just make it a little bit bigger 1.2 1.2 to have it a little bit bigger in here so uh, yeah you can uh, you can drag and drop directly your your scan in the in the slate material so i'm just gonna add another one just took these two their various scans i have them for a long time ago when i was actually using them as a scan you can find them on the chaos scan website yeah as you can see this is the new scan another feature is the fact that you can actually see the texture in the viewport before it wasn't possible so yeah this is how it's actually looking this is quite nice another thing that they implemented here is the fact that you can use a tree planner so this is also quite nice you can have a random offset or a random rotation on it as you can probably see and uh, another thing that it's quite nice is the fact that you can actually add your custom pump if you want on this and you can have also your custom displacement so I will just take for to be faster just a texture from here I will use the checker for example and uh, let's see how big it is I will just make it 0.5 by 0.5 just to see something so as you can see you can already see that yeah you have another bump 
on top of the one that uh, we had before I will just take the use tree planner so you can see both of them so yeah now you can play a little bit more and uh, you can also add this checker as a more or less bump and you can also add this as a displacement map in here I just need to change my view to perspective because he doesn't like orthographic so yeah as you can see it's already looking uh, a little bit different you can also play a little bit here with the bump you can make it higher or smaller depending on the size that you want to have so yeah this is a uh, quite amazing and I'm sure people are gonna start using this uh, scan materials uh, more than before. Yeah, another thing that they created for this version is the batch load bitmap for the environment. Let's go to F10 and here I will just add in the environment map I'm just gonna add a couple of more textures and I'm just gonna load a couple of different HDRIs so as you can see now if you already know what kind of uh, HDRIs you, you want to use for your render you can just load all of them directly from here so you have the batch load bitmaps so you don't need to load one by one the, all the images of course it's gonna take a while until it's gonna all load all of them because they are quite a lot like seven of them and they are quite big files but this I think this is quite a useful thing it's going to help you to load everything much faster and to work also faster so I'll just close this I'll just go to perspective and um, yeah the good part was that also you can set up your light mix from here in the moment that you are rendering the image in the light mix you have all the environments so I can just shut them down one by one and I can go with the first one you already seen this one and the second one the third one the fourth one and so on so yeah I think this is quite a useful uh, feature probably yeah many people are gonna be happy to have something like this in uh, Corona Render. So another thing that uh, they added in here is the setup light mix. Now you can have the layers coming uh, with the default. So yeah, this is quite good. Okay, another thing that we have in this version of Corona Render is the fact that you can actually make a selection, a render select, and uh, yeah, Corona is gonna render much faster. So for example, I'm just gonna take the chairs and the table Cheers. and table and use it as a render select and I'm just gonna hit render and according to them it's rendering uh, 600 times faster than before so yeah let's have a look on this oh yeah probably it's rendering much faster than before but uh, yeah this is uh, another improvement from them then the next one corona mapping randomizer the famous and most loved Corona UVV randomizer doesn't exist anymore. They changed the name to Corona Mapping Randomizer. So here I have a couple of different materials. And now the big thing that they implemented here is that you can have different outputs and different inputs for the same Corona Mapping Randomizer. So this means that you can have only one map where you add different uh, additional outputs and then you can plug in all the different bitmaps in the same uh, randomizer. So in this way, you don't need to copy all the randomizers all the time and or make one and then just make a copy and then plug in the randomizer in the right output or input. So now you can just use one as you can see in this example and you can do all the randomizing in this one and it's gonna apply everywhere. You can also take this one and add more outputs and uh, yeah, use it also for different other materials so i think this is quite a big improvement people are going to love this because this is gonna help us working faster so as you can see here i'm just i'm just doing a couple of different uh, adjustments for the randomizer and uh, yeah this is it so a second improvement is the fact that the corona tree planner also has now additional outputs you can use only one tree planner to input and output your bitmaps. So this is also quite a big improvement, even though I'm not using the Corona tree planner that much anymore. I prefer just to have a perfect UV mapping or a good unwrap. So yeah, I think this is also going to be a very loved uh, improvement on this version of uh, Corona Render 10.
Okay, so the next thing that we're going to discuss is the new Corona Lister that they added in this uh, version of uh, Corona Render 10. And uh, yeah, this is quite a powerful new tool where you can have cameras, displacements, lights and proxies in the same place. You can change them now directly from here from the Lister. As you can see in this example, I'm changing the uh, this kitchen camera. Uh, I'm changing the FOV, the F-stop, uh, yeah, the shutter spin you can change everything directly from here in the displacement tab you're gonna have all the displacements for from your scene unfortunately in this scene i don't have any displacements to show you how it's working but um yeah i'm just going to make one really fast so you can see that it's quite amazing that you can actually change the the properties of the displacement or the materials displacement directly from here so yeah in my opinion this is one of the biggest improvement because it's always happening that you need to change some displacements or materials in your uh, during your uh, renders or during your setup and uh, it's quite hard to find the material but now everything got much easier also as you can see you have all your lights in here you can change them you can select them you can uh, yeah do change the names of it and so on so i think this is quite a powerful tool and the uh, last one is the fact that you have all your proxies in here and uh, yeah you can also change the properties of each proxy uh, from here so yeah good job corona render this is something that all the people are going to love it okay so the next topic that we're going to talk about is the corona decal so as you know the decals are already here from the last version of Corona Render, but now in this version they managed to improve the bump and the displacement. What does it mean? It means that now the displacement that you already have on your bricks, for example here, it's going to be combined with the, the displacement from the decal. In this way you're going to get more realistic uh, results and overall I think it's going to look much better. Also you have the possibility to uncheck the color, roughness, mask, specular and so on. So yeah, I think it's a big bonus for the decals in this version of Corona Render 10 and keep it up. We are waiting for more things to happen in the future so yeah this is a big bonus for corona okay so the last um, topic that we're going to discuss is the corona depth of field as you can see here in this example in corona 9 the highlights were a little bit noisy so in corona 10 they fixed all of that and they look much better so this is the only thing that they actually fixed in this version I think it's quite good if you're doing close-ups or using the bouquet effect, but otherwise, yeah, it's not really useful. The only thing that you need to do is to go to F10 in the properties of a Corona Render and to check the Dove Highlight Solver experimental in the performance tab. Okay, so these were all the improvements and new features that Corona 10 brought to the table. As you already saw, uh, some of them are very useful, other of them are not that useful useful but um, yeah in the future i'm sure they're gonna come with much more stuff but until then please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and let me know in the comments what do you think about these new features from corona render 10 and share it with your friends in case you didn't do it already and see you in the next one bye